Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Joseph Herrall and William Steinitz. This very beautiful chess game was played in Vienna in 1873. Joseph Herrall had white pieces and he started with a c4, the English opening. Maybe black to move. What would Steinitz play against the English opening? Steinitz played e6. e3 and now f5. The Dutch defense. Knight to f3, knight to f6, b3, b6, bishop to b2, bishop to b7, knight to c3, knight to c6. Both players are just developing and nobody is trying anything crazy yet. Bishop to e2, bishop to e7, d4, d5. Why to move? Harold was choosing between castling and the attack on the weak spot in the black camp. He played knight to g5, attacking the pawn on e6. Queen to d7. Bishop to h5, check. Knight takes on h5. Queen takes on h5, check. g6, queen to h6, preventing castling kingside. Black to move. Since black can't castle kingside, perhaps he should castle Queenside. Well, that is a normal way of thinking. With his sharp eye, Steinitz spotted that white is too committed on the king's side, and then he can strike on the queen's side. How? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Do you have a sharp eye too? Did you find a6? Just kidding. The move is d takes on c4. That is a very strong move, although it looks very ordinary. Let's see why. Harold played rook to c1. The obvious move is losing very quickly. Back to our game. Rook to c1. Knight to b4. Harold castle kingside. Knight to d3. Rook to c2. c takes on b3. a takes on b3. Knight takes bishop. Rook takes knight. Black as a bishop pair and an extra pawn. It is also black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps some players would castle queenside. What would you do? Steinitz played queen to c6. This is a winning move, isn't it? d5. If f3, queen takes on c3. So we have d5, queen takes on c3, Knight takes on e6, so if black queen takes on b2, the white knight may take on c7. Steinitz played queen takes on b2 anyway. Queen to f4. If knight takes on c7, check. Then king to f7. After knight takes on a8, bishop takes on a8, and black is winning. Back to our game. Queen to f4. Bishop to d6. Queen to c4. Black to move. Black played the move and white resigned. And the move is queen to e5. Harold resigned in view of this continuation. f4 preventing the checkmate. Then queen takes on d5. If the queen takes on d5, bishop takes on d5. The knight to d4, castling, black is better materially and has a safe king. I think we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.